On ancient ages, steel was mainly used for the production of weapons and simple tools. Steel making has evolved along the years towards industrialization, permitting high quantities of steel to be produced. Steel has heavily influenced the growth of the world economy and the world economy has influenced the improvement in the steel production in terms of raw material savings and energy saving per unit of steel produce, as well as increasing the characteristics of steel available and the number of steel grades that can be produced. More than 6 million people are employed in the steel manufacturer and 49 million jobs are related to steel supply chain with an added value of 1.2 trillion US dollars. We have a knowledge from iron ore, from scrap to end products. We have the knowledge to design and manufacture equipment A to Z. What does it mean for us? means that we start from design of a concept, how you can start to produce any finish or semi-finished products, but starting from raw material. So practically, we, we have all the concept of how to design the machine and make the process to handle the steel industry products. Daniele has always invested in results aiming to optimizing the steel production. It means uh, reducing the production cost and uh, increasing the productivity. These actions are strictly correlated also to emission reduction. Having products like Q1, we can create a, a very big network inside the, the factory. So this factory network can be in DC, for instance, and this is a very good method to share and control the energy with certain intelligence to optimize the consumption based to time, based to availability of power, uh, based on cost. With our system, all types of uh, renewable power plant can be connected via a dedicated bus, not only to the main electric arc furnace, but also to other high power demanding loads, maximizing the usage of the renewable resources. We are, however, talking about electrical arc furnace, where electrical energy is the major power source of the furnace. So it is mandatory to optimize the way this energy is transferred and used to melt the raw materials. And here is where the Q1 enters, not only by reducing the losses from the power source to the tip of the electrodes, but also for providing a full new range of operating parameters that enable us to conduct the melting in the furnace in a totally different manner. You have to imagine that the electric arc furnace is a large pot with a refractor inside. You charge the scrap, you have three electrodes bringing the three phases of the energy, going down, start up, creating an arc. This arc energy is melting, melting, melting until when the, the steel is liquid. What we did with the Q1, we converted the energy coming from network, from AC to DC. We have very big buffer of energy localized close to the furnace. And then we convert again DC to AC. At the time you convert, you have the control. When we learned that a transformer that could save energy had been developed by Daniele, we decided to install. Tokyo Steel manufactures steel products from scrap. 
The company boasts extremely low CO2 emissions. We aim to be carbon neutral, reducing CO2 emissions by 60% by 2030 and by 100% by 2050. Artificial intelligence uh, is something that is a, a dramatic fast automation. So today we call uh, artificial intelligence. In, rea in reality, it's a lot of microprocessor, a lot of maths to move, run, operate a very fast process. Sure, I think artificial intelligence is something that is a must. Innovation is in DNA of Daniele. Innovation is also related to customer care because challenges and problems of our customer are also problems and challenges for us. The development of the control software was one of the toughest jobs for us. That was possible only thanks to the passion that moves this team and that always productive cooperation with our local universities. Electrification and digitalization are two key pillars for sustainable steel production. Electrification means to change the equipment and the processes switching from direct use of fossil fuels to electricity. Digitalization means to convert the physical processes into what we call the digital twins. And in this way, it's possible to use our software and process knowledge to have the full control of them. Daniele will continue to innovate the industry with the same passion, motivation and curiosity that is the elixir of our success in the last 100 years. So, power on, power off, very big loads, hydrogen, battery storage, solar, wind. This must be a kind of very huge intelligent energy package where we are working for the future.